Hi, Scott here again with another great video. Now, I know that every video I say I love, I enjoy, the food is beautiful, it tastes fantastic, and every one of the recipes is an absolute treat to not only work with but to eat. Well, it's the truth, they are. Uh, I put all this beautiful phytonutrients into my body, and I hope by now you're starting to get a body buzz that things are starting to change in your body to the point that um, you're feeling major, major differences, just as I did when I began to use raw food in my lifestyle from one day to the next. This particular um, video, avocado rapaccio with nut sauce. Now, nut sauce is one of those keepers again. If you go back to the previous video, I talked about the keepers, uh, the pesto and the tomato sauce and the nut sauce, three raw staples that you can introduce very simply to things quickly, whether it's for yourself or for guests. I know that a lot of you are time starved. It's a horrible, horrible um, phrase to use. But at the end of the day, I'm about simplicity. I'm not about complexity. So for this nut sauce, we're going to use the bullet. And remember, bullet makes, bullets make uh, very, very small portions. Um, you don't get carried away. You don't need a lot. And again, I just highlight the fact that what you make is what you use and it's what you get. There's no reduction or anything like that. So uh, let's pop in a quarter of a cup of, um, let's do the milk first, actually, the cashew milk. We'll come back to the nuts. If you put the milk in first, uh, the whole lot actually blends beautifully. So I'll we'll put, we'll put the milk in there. Might need just a little bit more. There we go. Now the recipe's right underneath the video. Now let's add the nut fines, all the nuts. And I'm putting in the equivalent of around about half a cup. So there's quite a lot. Now this is quite a thick sauce. That's what we're wanting to achieve. A lot of thickness and what that does is what the nuts do actually of course is makes it beautifully thick um, now we're going to add in a half a bell pepper and we chop these up of course because it makes the um, it makes the effort on behalf of the machine just a little bit less we just push that in there bell pepper clove of garlic now this is a live clove of garlic you see the little green bit on the end here so how raw can you get uh, which is which is just absolutely fabulous now there's two things which I've forgotten and I normally do this but this is almost my trademark so I have to go to my pantry you get a look inside my pantry and I'm getting some paprika and I'm getting some tahini now a dash of uh, paprika as you can see by the recipe there it just requires a dash and that also just adds a nice color to it as well and um, we want it nice and creamy so the idea essentially is to put in a dessert spoon of uh, tahini as well now you know about tahini it's hulled sesame seed. Don't over, over, overdose on this. Don't over D on it because um, essentially it can be quite bitter at the end of the day. Mmm. Beautiful. So I've done the paprika. A little bit of heat. You can use some Tabasco if you like. Um, I, because I've got plenty of chilies growing here, I'm going to put half a red chili in there. Bingo. I'm going to put a dash of lime. Again, just sweetness, but you can use lemon. And this really helps with the alkalinity of the sauce as well. And in this you've got proteins, you've got fat, you've got a whole range of things. So you're not going short on, on anything at all, even with this particular sauce. A little bit of season to taste, some sea salt in this particular case, and some ground pepper, which is just beautiful. All these old things are just so romantic, aren't they? They're just so beautiful. Put the top on the bullet. Screw it down, and away we go. So we'll just put this on the top here. And just let it go. Don't need to do the shaping with this one because it's quite good. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Let's have a wee taste of this. Mmm, that's delicious. But you know what? You can add a few more bits and pieces if you like. And because this is mine, I will. And I'm actually just going to put a little bit more nut in this just to make it a bit thicker. Because I tell you what, everyone is different. Everyone is totally different. And I want to get it right because I'm going to be eating this. And play around with it, you know. Uh, the recipe is there very much as a primary guide, but depending on what containers you're using and how you're actually putting it together, you know, it can make the world a difference. So we'll just put that back in the bullet. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. That's all it needs. Mmm, that's delicious. Oh goodness, that's just beautiful. Okay, now we're going to actually do that on a, put that on a plate over some um, avocado. So this is our carpaccio. Just one whole avocado, slit it down the middle, preferably raw. The idea, of course, is to um, find something that you can get your spoon in underneath. Flip it over on the plate. And what you do is then just slice it very gently. And just open it up. Just press your fingers on it. So it's like a, um, how do I say, like a turtle's back. You press your fingers on it. And then just dribble some of the sauce over the top. Which is just stunning. Oh my goodness. Don't need a lot of that. This is more sauce here, but you know, you can make this up as sing single portions and serve it as a starter for your guests. And we'll just put some uh, chives around the top of it, just to complete the picture. And this is so, so simple, so straightforward. It's ridiculous. And again, a little bit of that. And just to finish off with a bit of seasoning. Now what I might ordinarily do is just add a bit of colour to this. So what I'm going to do is just take a cherry tomato, but you can use a little bit of the um, bell pepper and just dot the, just dot the cherry tomato around it. You don't need to go overboard. But listen, that's a really nice simple dish done so perfectly. I hope you can see it there. Um, and it's something that basically you can whip up in a few moments because you've got that nut sauce in the refrigerator. Now that'll do me for a week to 10 days because although I use it every day, excuse me, although I use it every day, um, it's something I, I, can, uh, I can get through very sparingly. I hope you've enjoyed that. So there you go, the avocado rapaccio and the nut sauce. Uh, the nut sauce is a keeper. The rest is simple. You've got the PDF there. Download it. Work through it. Until the next video, stay raw, stay healthy. And I'm Scott. Cheers.